In a world where innovation knows no bounds, 3D printers are at the forefront of transforming how we design, build, and create. From engineers crafting intricate prototypes to hobbyists printing custom gadgets at home, 3D printing has revolutionized industries and brought complex ideas to life. Whether you're a professional looking for precision or a beginner exploring the possibilities, the right 3D printer can make all the difference. To help you find the right model, we've listed the top five best 3D printers and their key features along with the essential things to consider when choosing the perfect one for your needs. Links to all products mentioned in the video are available in the description below. So let's get started. Number 6 Elegoo Saturn IV Ultra 16K I've tested a lot of 3D printers, and honestly, most of them either sound like jet engines or print slower than my Wi-Fi on a bad day. But then I tried the Elegoo Saturn IV Ultra 16K, and wow, this thing changed the game. The first print came out so crisp, I literally leaned in like, wait, did I just do that? The 10-inch 16K Mono LCD captures unreal detail every edge, texture, and curve, looks handcrafted. The tilt release system makes every print peel off like magic, and with speeds up to 150M slash H, it's fast like blink and it's done fast. The auto leveling and smart resin heating at a steady 30C mean no failed prints, no sticky disasters, just perfection. The built-in AI camera and Wi-Fi let me monitor everything from my phone, so yes, I absolutely check on my prints like a proud parent. It's sleek, solid, and somehow still feels compact enough for my workspace. The dual resin, pour spouts, and drip tray design make cleanup ridiculously easy. It's like someone finally understood what makers actually need. After using this, my older printers look more like museum pieces. If you love precision, speed, and watching your ideas come to life flawlessly, the Saturn IV Ultra 16K isn't just an upgrade, it's your next obsession. Number 5. Creality K1 SE 3D I've tried more 3D printers than I can count, and after the first hour with the K1 SA 2024, I legit looked at my old machine like, did you even want to print things? The moment I hit start, the dual-core 1.2J CPU kicked in and everything just moved no lag, no hesitation. This thing is processing like it already knows what you want. The built-in AI LiDAR first layer scanner hands the calibration to the machine and says, I got this, so your first layer goes down flawless while you grab coffee. Dual heat-free auto-leveling means bed adjustments are gone, one tap, you're good to go. With the heater blasting to 200C in 40 seconds, you're not waiting, you're printing. And when I say speed, I mean it, up to 600mm slash S and the build volume keeps up, so your prints don't feel like baby steps anymore. The core XY architecture, paired with a whip fast vacuum of acceleration, 20,000mm slash S, makes motion feel smooth, crisp, and surprisingly quiet. Throw in the creativity, cloud app, Wi-Fi control, remote monitoring and upload from your phone, yep, you're printing while you're making dinner. And when you see it print detail after detail, it hits, this is how modern 3D printing should feel. The K1SA isn't just an upgrade, it's the jump from meh to wow. If you're serious about creating fast, clean, and smart, this is the machine telling you it's ready. Let's print something awesome. Number four, Bamboo Lab uh, One Mini Combo. You ever try something and instantly think, okay, this is built different? That was me the first time I fired up the Bamboo Lab, a one mini combo. I've used plenty of printers before, but none that felt this smooth, this smart, and this fast all at once. The AMS Lite multicolor system blew my mind. It literally swaps filaments mid-print like it's performing a magic trick. And that 500M slash S speed with 20,000M slash S acceleration? It's wild. You hit print, blink, and it's already halfway done. The auto bed leveling, vibration compensation, and active flow calibration mean every layer comes out perfect, no tweaking, no frustration, just clean, pro-level results. What really got me though was how quiet and confident it runs like it knows exactly what it's doing. The Bamboo Handy app lets me check everything from my phone, so yeah, I do watch my prints like proud parent mode. It's compact, intelligent, and honestly makes 3D printing feel exciting again. 
The A1 Mini Combo isn't just a machine, it's creativity, speed, and precision packed into one tiny beast. Once you use it, every other printer feels like it's still buffering. Number 3, Anycubic Cobra S1 Combo. You know that feeling when you try something new and instantly think, wait, why doesn't everyone have this already? That was me with the Anycubic Cobra S1 Combo. I've used a ton of 3D printers before, but this one? It's like the perfect blend of speed, intelligence, and pure fun. From the second I powered it on, the 32-bit high-speed processor kicked in like a race car engine, smooth, stable, and ready to go. The Levique 2. Zero auto-leveling system completely took the stress out of setup. It just scans, adjusts, and boom, perfect first layer every single time. Then there's the direct drive extruder. It's crazy precise, giving cleaner lines, tighter detail, and zero stringing even on tricky prints. When it hit 600MA S speed with 20,000M S acceleration, I literally laughed, it's that fast. The vibration and flow compensation keeps everything steady, so no matter how wild your design is, every layer lands exactly where it should. And taking off prints? The magnetic PEI build plate makes it so satisfying, just pop and done. But here's where it gets cool, the color engine add-on lets you do multicolor printing. So your designs don't just print, they pop. Add in Wi-Fi control through the Anycubic app, and suddenly you're monitoring prints from your phone like a pro, no babysitting, no stress. It's compact, quiet, and honestly looks as good as it performs. The Cobra S1 combo isn't just another 3D printer, it's a full-on creative assistant that's fast, smart, and actually fun to use. Once you see it in action, you'll get it, this isn't a printer. It's the future of desktop making. And the best part? It makes even beginners look like pros, seriously. Your first print will feel like something out of a design studio. After using this, Every other printer just feels outdated. Number two, Creality K2 Plus Combo. You know that feeling when you unbox something and instantly realize it's built different? Yeah, that was me with the Creality K2 Plus Combo. I've used plenty of 3D printers before, but this one, it feels like Creality finally decided to go all in. From the moment I powered it on, the dual gear direct drive extruder started humming like it had something to prove smooth, steady, and insanely precise. And the print area? A massive 350, 350, 350 M. We're not talking keychains anymore. We're talking helmets, prototypes, full on display pieces. The first time I saw it hit 600 M slash S speed with 30,000 M slash S acceleration, I actually laughed. It's that fast. Then you've got the actively heated chamber that keeps prints flawless, even on tricky materials and that 350C high temp nozzle that lets you go from PLA to a BSPE, TIGIA, or even nylon without breaking a sweat. The CFS multicolor system is where it really flexes up to 16 filaments at once, seamlessly swapping mid-print like it's pulling off a magic trick. Every layer just stacks perfectly thanks to the AI-powered dual cameras that monitor everything in real time. It literally corrects itself before you even notice an issue. The matrix die cast frame gives it tank-like stability, so vibration isn't even part of the conversation, and with Wi-Fi plus Ethernet connectivity, remote printing and monitoring from the Creality Cloud app feels ridiculously easy. Even the magnetic PE I build plate adds that extra satisfaction just flex, and your print pops right off. The moment I started using it, I realized this isn't just another printer, it's a full-on creative workstation. The K2 Plus combo doesn't just make printing easier, it makes it exciting again. Once you see how clean, fast, and colorful this thing can get, you'll never look at your old printer the same way. And here's the thing, it doesn't just print, it performs. Every move feels intentional, every detail feels engineered for creators who care. It's not just a tool, it's your imagination in machine form. After using the K2 Plus, I didn't just start printing more, I started dreaming bigger. Number 1, Prusa Core 1. I opened the box of the Prusa Core 1 and immediately thought, okay, this just changed everything. I've used dozens of 3D printers by now, but this one stood out the moment I hit print. It's fully enclosed Corexi design paired with an extruder, and 360 cooling delivers overhangs up to 75 without a flinch meaning fewer supports, less cleanup, and more time to actually create. 
The active chamber temperature control up to 55C keeps prints flat, warp-free, and flawless whether you're using PLAPED, ETG, SA, or even polycarbonate. The 250, 200, 2270 mmi build volume, direct drive gear system, magnetic PEI spring steel bed, and auto first layer calibration make every print feel effortless. It's like the printer's doing the thinking for you. With Ethernet and optional Wi-Fi slash NFC connectivity, it links seamlessly to Prusa Slicker, Printables, and Prusa Connect, creating a whole creative ecosystem that just flows. Whether you're a maker, designer, or full-blown engineer, the core one turns ideas into something real before you've even finished your coffee. Once you've printed with it, every other printer feels like it's running on dial-up. The Prusa Core, one doesn't just print it inspires, that's all for today. If you find this video helpful, so thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and connect with us for the latest technology and review, we receive motivation of your feedback. If you have any question, feel free to ask in the comment. Thank you.